Welcome to today's Pokemon market update. This is going to be for Pokemon collectors and investors, and we're going to be taking a look at a wide variety of products. And at the end, I'm going to tell you guys what I think are like currently as of today, the best possible buys. We're going to touch on a wide variety of stuff. Let's just jump straight into it. First off, I just wanted to give props to Paldea Evolved. Uh, you know, I have said in the past that I am uh, personally waiting and I'm not buying any Paldea. I'm waiting for the chance for the reprint. But for those of you that have bought in already and got it in at good prices, you know, and if you're wanting to buy for a long term hold, uh, you know, getting in at these prices aren't going to be bad. And I'm going to show you some examples of why that is. So even if you're getting in at the 130s, we just cracked 130 a box for Paldea. So let's give a little round of applause for Paldea involved in that Magikarp. Um, great set. Uh, I do love the set overall. I just think that the reprint is going to bring that price back down. That is not confirmed. That's not guaranteed. Uh, just historically, you know, that's what likely to see. But we are at a official one-year high. Uh, 130 market price, but we have seen sales already at 139.95 and the listed medium price. So this baby is about to crack 140 bucks, and that does not surprise uh, as one of the best sets from Scarlet and Violet era so far. Let's take a very quick gander over here to eBay. I see, and you can pick some up for 120, 125, 130-ish. Um, just try to give some other uh, places to buy besides just TCG Player. Uh, I know it's a lot; it's TCG Player heavy, but that is okay because they're pretty accurate for the most part. Next up, uh, we're just going to touch real quickly on this one. Um, Lost Origin, in the three-month chart, we're seeing, you know, it's tanked down. It went down into the 180s, sprung back up into 195, but we have seen uh, a sale here at 210. So, and the listed medium price is 250. So, um, you know, I, I, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, I am in on Lost Origin. Uh, probably my most invested Sword and Shield set, I think. Um, I'm really bullish on it long term. Uh, the Giratina, the booster boxes, right? Um, I am all about it. So um, let's see. On eBay, though, um, you, you could pick this up for 185 plus shipping. Uh, has some reviews here. So you're seeing between 185 and 200 Although with shipping, it kind of comes out to be around that $200 range. So uh, just to compare, you know, I mean, it's pretty similar pricing there. Next up, did you guys think we were going to not talk about Evolving Skies? It's tanking. It's tanking. Look at the... No, I'm just kidding, but this chart is this is a little bit misleading. Uh, so you can see right here somebody dumped some boxes um, at 500 a box. I don't know if they were just hurting for cash or they were trying to just... I don't know if they were just trying to mess with this, but uh, don't worry about this. This is just a, this is a weird blip in the radar. You can see the listed medium price at 860 uh, but... It just is interesting to see it on here at 500 a box. Whoever scooped those up at 500, if those are legit sales, good for you guys. You guys are doing well. Uh, if we jump on the eBay side here, um, we're seeing 640 with a lot of shipping from Australia, 650. So we're seeing the high sixes um, on Evolving Skies booster boxes there. Now, to break things up a little bit, um, we're going to talk about some ETBs. Now, just to preface, I always say that booster boxes are always the best sealed investment when you're looking for long term. Uh, but, you know, not everybody wants to spend $700 on Evolving Skies uh, booster. So just another option here. And uh, so here's the ETB. Three months ago, I could have picked this up for 100 bucks, And we're in the 120s here uh, with the, the average price here is at 180 So expect a steady uptick on this and expect a booster box to do the same. Uh, if we put the one year chart here, uh, we are just a teensy bit down from a one year high. So, um, man, if the one year low was right here at 70. So to you guys who bought in at 70, you guys are doing well on these ETBs. Um, yeah, I, it's never, especially with a banger set, it's never bad to do ETBs. It's not like you guys are going to lose money on ETBs. It's just booster boxes are just a little bit more steady, a little bit more in demand. Another uh, great Sword and Shield set here. just want to touch on this one real quick as well. Uh, Fusion Strike. If you look at the one-year chart here, to it's about back up to its uh, one-year high. And the median price isn't too much higher, so it's kind of like the market's kind of accepted, you know, that this is a... $240, $250 box uh, might creep up a tiny bit more. Um, so it's really interesting. It, I always wonder when these like these other sales go on, like what is going on. But um, 
yeah, so that is that. But um, let's see, moving next, uh, we'll check eBay real quick. We're looking at 225, um, 225 plus shipping uh, for if you want to be on eBay there. Uh, next up, we'll I just wanted to keep touching on these ETBs while we're here. Uh, three months, uh, we're at the high here. So I believe these, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, these just sold out on Pokemon Center finally. So uh, expect this to finally get a little bit of a rise after a while. The one year chart is looking, man, you could have picked this up for 32. So steady climb on the one year uh, for the, so just another proven that these, uh, ETBs are performing. Sometimes they just lag, they lag behind the, uh, booster boxes. It really can depend on how much they're printed in, in the set. Another ETB to touch on right here. This is another one that, uh, personally I'm holding off on. Um, it's, this is obviously 151's a specialty set with no booster box, but, uh, for me, if I was going to invest, I like the booster bundles more personally. I don't think you, you can't go wrong with ETBs for specialty sets, but uh, that's just my preference, but uh, same thing. This is gonna, I could almost say, almost for certain, I'm, I mean, not really, but a uh, heavy, heavy chance that this is gonna get a reprint. So keep that in mind uh, for the holiday season. I think that, uh, you know, this is gonna drive these ETBs down. We saw it with Crown Zenith, 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 uh, whatever you wanna call it. So um, yeah, I expect these prices to be coming back down. You pull up the one year, um, yeah, we're just a little bit down from its. Uh, one year high so um if you have boxes you know it might not be the worst time to offload a few f if they reprint i mean you know do with that information what you want but maybe let it ride out a little bit more before we get the announcement of a reprint because once it once the reprints announce people start you know dumping some of their uh some of their sealed product there now i just wanted to touch on this is uh so this is sneaker dunk this isn't when you pick it up on the desktop uh, this is the price breakdown of Japanese uh, 151 just wanted to touch on um, if you got one box here they're like at like 56 obviously getting one box and paying the shipping and import fee is not gonna be worth it for you guys you're gonna want to be the sweet spot tends to be around between 8 and 12 boxes depending it can vary by seller so um, you know you're gonna want to be somewhere in here but uh, this is the current cheapest price. This was down as low as I think forty-four dollars. So we're seeing a little bit of a climb uh, on that. Finally, it's interesting to see how much they've printed that. It seems like uh, possibly the hype around it has kind of died out a little bit. But uh, it's really nice to be able to pick up these boxes uh, at good prices. Uh, next up, something that I don't hardly ever talk about is uh, UPCs and the Charizard. <sighs> I mean, looking back, like what a UPC this was. Uh, obviously, because of the booster packs that you get out of it, and the promos are beautiful. Uh, but I just wanted to touch on this that this had a nice little run up from, you know, the one teens up into 165, and we're seeing this uh, drop back down into the 130s. Now, the reason I'm bringing the Charizard UPC up, and you can see this was the one year high, is that, and man, we could have been picking this up, uh, sub 100. Is that I think that this box is going to perform very, very, very well long term. I know it's been talked about before, but I just wanted to echo that. Um, if you guys have this or you're going to pick it up, I think that even at, at this price range of one in the 130s, um, you're going to be looking real good. And just because the packs, the packs that come in here, are just way, way, way too good. Uh, you get an Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, you know, a lot of good packs, a lot of good promos. So, uh, great play mat, all that stuff, right? So, uh, super great box, just long term. Just wanted to, just wanted to talk about it, even though it's on a downturn. Um, sometimes a lot of people like to buy in a downturn. Maybe see. Um, I think this is going to come back up though, just based on the median price. But if it hangs down a little bit more, you know, um, might be a good entry point for some of you guys. Then I wanted to touch on Crown Zenith uh, the ETBs real quick. This was at, I believe this was the one year high. No, it was not. Okay, you can see this was the reprint um, last year, right? Uh, what it did to it from 65 all the way down to 38, and now we're finally seeing a recovery here. But on this three month chart, we were up into the 50s, and now we're down just a little. I think that um, I expect this to come back up slowly, but if you guys aren't familiar, uh, I did a video on it just a little while ago, but there was like a Prime Day, and then Best Buy was running sales. And so these were like 40 bucks. So uh, this might be a little bit of that effect. So it might be uh, bringing that price down just for a little bit, but 
Um, expect this to have a, a steady, long climb, hopefully. Uh, amazing set. Absolutely amazing. Uh, don't even need to go into the cards here uh, on this one. If you guys know, you know. Next up, um, we just got a few more. Okay. So this is, if you guys aren't familiar, uh, if you're overseas or if you... Not everybody can buy from the Pokemon Center, and I am fully aware of that. But uh, I'm just going to touch on a few things here that I find really interesting uh, that are good pickups from the Pokemon Center. It's not, there's not always, uh, good pickups from the Pokemon Center because MSRP can be high, but, uh, you know, we've talked about a few of these before, but I just wanted to talk about, so the, uh, Silver Tempest, we're going to touch on Silver Tempest booster box first. Now this is at MSRP of 143.64. And what you guys need to know, if you're not familiar, the Pokemon Center, at least here in the U S the, sh the packaging is horrible. And they only let you buy four of these at a time currently. Actually, we'll just pull this up just to verify. Let's just double check. Okay, so purchase limit of four. And the problem with that is uh, usually before you could buy six and they would ship it in the case and it would do much better. But they're not properly protecting these. So, so you can get them damaged. I have purchased booster boxes in quantities of two from them before for other sets and they've arrived fine. So it can depend. So it, taking a gamble at 143, though, uh, TCG player, as you guys can see right here, we're in the 160s with the median price of 182. So this one has been the longest to take to sell out. And I don't think this is a bad set by any means. And I think that this is going to pop off, obviously, once it goes uh, out of stock on the Pokemon Center. But you can already, if you're getting them in the 140s, you're already up a little bit. Obviously, there's you know, tax in there and stuff too, but I uh, just want to touch on that. So I think that from the Pokemon Center that this is a really great buy with the caveat, excuse me, with the caveat of the shipping uh, fiasco. A few others here that I wanted to touch on is this, uh, these Fusion Strike sleeved boosters at four bucks. Um, you know, obviously if you, you always want to get these lower when possible, but four bucks and the difference here is i've seen multiple posts on reddit that the sleeve boosters are surviving much better in their bad uh packaging they just there's not a lot of weight to them and they hold up and they're protected pretty well so sleeve boosters these are going to perform really well long term great if you don't want to get pick up the expensive booster box get a few of these i don't think you can go wrong also uh right here same thing it's it's i don't mm, i think it's a little bit more prone to get damaged just because of the way that these are i think this is probably the least likely to get damaged uh but you got the three pack with the ev promo so a coin and an ev promo for 12.99 long term this is going to do really well i'm talking long term like five ten years down the road um these are going to be cool to have and let's see there's nothing else down here okay yeah there's a few um but I did want to touch on the Lost Origin uh, Pokemon Center ETB. Just because um, this isn't, mm, once again, not the not the strongest investment. You guys can see my hear my hesitation in it. But you, we've seen how the, the ETBs can perform, and they will perform. They're just not going to do as well. But 50 bucks for the Pokemon Center, um, if you guys want to pick one up, pick a few up. I think that some of these are, they're going to do well long term. They really will, and it's uh, sometimes it's good to d diversify and have a few different things, you know, to display if you're displaying your stuff or whatnot. And that kind of just ties into just a few of these other ones. I think if I'm picking one, it's LO for me personally. But there is uh, Brilliant Stars here, and we got Shining Fates and Astral. Um, you know, lesser on these ones personally, but uh, some if you want to pick up some ETBs. These would be my, my lesser choices from the Pokemon Center. Um, Astral, you know, same thing if you want to pick up some Astral Blisters and Brilliance. Like, same thing. Like, just the Fusion Strike would be my my go-to on this. Um, you know, now that I'm actually, we're getting down a little further, there's still a few other things on here. Like, uh, I think Crown Zenith is going to perform extremely well long-term. So, uh, Crown Zenith mini tins. Um, you can break them down for the pack so you can sell them as tins. Uh a lot of these three-pack blisters, you know, they're here, and a lot of people, this is what the reality of this is. I'm going to break it down for you guys. With a lot of this stuff, like that I'm showing you guys right now that's available, is a lot of people are passing these up. 
And I understand why, because it's like, oh, you know, they're they're there, they're at MSRP, and they're there until they're not. And once they're not, and then that price rises up, people, then the frenzy, the feeding frenzy begins. We've seen it with everything. But while they're in stock, while they're readily available, um, just keep those in mind that those are uh, some pretty good investments at pretty good prices. Uh, sometimes MSRP, you know, who cares? Five, ten years down the road, you're not going to care that you bought it at MSRP. So you don't always have to be uh, like a snood trying to get it like way well below. Obviously, get the best price you can. But sometimes when you're when you're in the moment, you know, um, that's it for this one, guys. I'm a little rambly right here. I just wanted to kind of make this video, kind of talk about just current where the market's at today as of this Friday and some buys that I think are are good buys. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Uh, but first, if you made it this far in the video and you're not already subscribed, obviously you enjoyed the content. So do me a favor, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then leave me a comment. Let me know uh, if you're picking any of these up. And I will see all you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.